Look at that bad boy. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. You watched our last episode? You would have heard us talk about moving to Cairns. Well, got the big U-Haul trailer and we're loading. It's been a fun morning unloading the storage shed and it's so much crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna film the whole thing just for if anyone's doing a big move, it might help you out. Or if anyone's interested in new haul trailers, um, or if you just like watching us, I'm gonna try and make it as exciting as possible. Hey, yep. it's been pretty eventful already. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the plan is to tow this up with the D Max and then fly back and tow the boat up with the Jimmy. So it's a pretty big effort. Hey. And two dogs. And two dogs, yeah. There's one dog. She's ready. Bags are packed. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna film as much as we can. The loading's probably not too interesting, is no. it? So anyway, we'll get back into it. Take a photo. Got it all in? Yeah, I'm buggered. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty full. Still more to go. Yeah. Gotta load some stuff on the ute now. But, dump run. Dump run. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Mm. Yay, I love the dump. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel? Tired. Tired? <laughs> Done? Yeah. Defeated? Ready for bed. We're done. It's time? 5.30. 5.30 and we're fully loaded. Almost. Yeah. Couple things in the morning. Yeah. Then we're on the road. At 4am. For 12 yeah. hours. Yeah, 12 hours. All the way to Prospine tomorrow. Hopefully. Well, no, we have to get there. <laughs> we have to get to Prospine. So, yeah. It's going to be another big day. It is. It's my birthday too. <laughs> birthday on the road. Come on. Oh, she's on it. There she is. <sighs> so ready. You ready? We come back and get the boat. It's a big fella. Big girl. Big girl? Big girl? Big girl? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a big girl. Oh, big girl. How you feeling? Good. Two hours in. We're at Gimpy. It's freezing. Yeah, it's so <laughs> cold up here. But um, yeah, we just stopped to get some fuel, get some food. And yeah, back on the road. Hey. Yep. Let's do this. You need to put music on before we go anywhere. Oh. Please. Need music. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep going. And then we'll probably uh, chat about some. What's the thing? Our experience of how we got a rental and everything a bit later on. How do I do it? Probably when we get to um, Prosper mm -hmm. Now we're just going to drive. Passing shower. 
Where are we? We made it. I'll put it in there. Six thirty, pretty much. So it's at fourteen and a half hours. We left at four a.m. It was rough, hey? Yes, it was. It says twelve hours on the maps, but with all the stops and everything, fourteen and a half. And towing the massive trailer, obviously. But we made it. And we haven't opened the back since we left, so we held this. Hopefully she's good. Oh. That's good. It looks all the same. It does. I think. Yeah. She's full. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Oh, time for food. Yeah. A beer Shopping. and bed. And probably a shower. Hang on, we'll put the stuff in. We made it, didn't Yay. we? And since I picked the trailer up, 1,725 kilometers, if you can see that. The D-Max is now up to 2,900 k's. Oh. Oh. 22 hours and 28 minutes. That was a long time, eh? <laughs> oh, sweet! Made it. Food. Food. Oh, uh, <laughs> first trip. We did it. Is done. And the trailer's almost empty. Apart from that, but it's yeah. way too heavy. Yeah. 
But if you're curious, that's a large, large enclosed furniture trailer from U-Haul. And we pretty much filled it. Oh yeah. We didn't think we had that much stuff, but it turns out we did. See, so yeah, it's pretty heavy, but... <clears throat> but the, uh, the Max did the job. It was fantastic. Um, but that's expected with the Demax. It is born to tow, as they say on the ads. Hey, so very happy with that. Now, do you think the car went pretty good? Really good. Yeah? Really good. Yeah. I'm yeah, really surprised it. at how it went. It was easy to drive. Yeah. yeah. Good. And now we need to uh, what? Chill for the next couple of days. Yeah. Fly back to Brisbane. Get the boat and the chimney. And the dogs. And the dogs. And then we drive again. <laughs> Even longer. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while with the dogs. Oh well. It's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah. You wanted to move. <laughs> oh yes, shiny once again. It was covered in bugs from the drive. Just gave her a good clean. Um, thought I'd talk about fuel real quick while I'm at here. Uh, we spent $620 in total on fuel. Um, we paid anywhere from $2.20 to $2.30 for diesel. Um, wasn't too bad. I did see some pretty higher prices than that, so not too unhappy about that. Um, so yeah, we did probably, I think we were sitting on about 6.8 Ks per litre. Um, you know, towing that big heavy trailer. Obviously the fuel economy is not going to be as good, so pretty happy with it. I think we're getting 5, 550 k's out of a tank. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the Jimny goes towing the boat. I think it's only got a 40 to 45 litre tank, so probably have to stop a few more times. We are going to bring a 20 litre jerry can as well, because there are some stretches there that don't have any servos. So that is something to consider if you're driving up here with a smaller car and a smaller tank. Probably a good idea to bring a jerry cam. Now, but yeah, fly back tomorrow and then start driving the following day. We are going to do it over three days this time because we are bring, bringing the dogs with, so I'm going to make it a bit easier for them. It's not sitting in the car all day. Um, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be long. It's a very long drive. Just keeps on going. But uh, yeah, it should be good. Just like that, we're back in Brisbane. And we're loaded, ready to go. Not really loaded, it's just the boat. There's not much in there at all. Took everything last time, so little weight as possible. Apart from big fatty here. Me, B. Ooh. I think we're gonna do um, six hours today to Miriam Vale and just camp there for the night, probably do a pretty big day tomorrow. We don't want to do two big days with the dogs. Might be a bit rough on them. Are you ready? She's ready. Ready for the big adventure. And here they come. Yep, you got it. You got it. That's straight out on the road. Hey big fella. Hey, hey, hey. Settle, settle, settle. Yes, you know who it is. Yep. <coughs> He's a psycho. You better calm down in the car, mate. <laughs> so where are we? Miriam Vale. That's right. <laughs> we made it. A little six hour drive. Got a little set up for the night. You happy about that, Shields? Nice bed for you? Yeah. You having dinner? Hey. That wasn't a bad drive. Jim needed pretty good. What do you reckon? Alright. It's a bit loose, but. It's a bit loose, but. Yeah. It does roll on fuel. It's going well. Shower, eat, and then go to bed. And get back on the road at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Sound good? Keen. Big day tomorrow. Yeah. Big day, she'll don't don't try and eat dinner. Come on, eat up. We'll get your own dinner. Yeah. Right. 
Come again. Time for dinner shoes. No, you can't even see. So we stayed at the Star Roadhouse. Probably can't see it, it's just a server on the side of the road. Can't see us either, can you? Probably don't want to see us. There we go. Star Roadhouse on the side of the highway in Miriam Bell. That was, was awful. Probably the worst <laughs> night's sleep I've ever had. We didn't sleep at all. No. For one, it's next to the highway, so it's constant trucks and cars. There's also land out the back. And there's dogs that just bark all night. All night. And then the owners finally told them to stop after midnight. But then they had to set off another dog. And then it's just constant trucks. That was so yeah, bad. It was pretty bad. But it's quarter to five and we're heading off for what, eight hours? Yeah. Then we get to camp again. Yeah. In Bowen, hopefully. Hopefully it's better. You guys ready? I think we'll, we'll lock you in and then we'll head off. Keen as. Probably needs to poo. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Where are we, Shields? Bowen. There's a lot of good palm trees in the background. How are you doing? Pardon? Tired. Tired. She's done. Too much driving. Right, Bowen. We got here, what, a couple hours ago? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good drive. What did we do? Eight hours? Yeah. Just taking it easy. Having chillin'. We're gonna have some pizza. And then go to bed. Again yeah. Up at four. Another six hours. Six and a half. Can you bring me home by lunch? Yeah. No, we'll be there by lunch. How's the setup? No blankets. <laughs> no chairs. No lights. Really rough in it. Yeah. Completely forgot everything. Yeah, we did. We were very unorganised. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll camp. <laughs> He's got a tent and mattress. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Get yeah. out. Oh, got his heels. Got his heels. She just wants the pizza. I said we're going to get pizza. Yes, you won't leave the car. Yes, we'll go in a minute. How's the boat going? Yep. She's solid. Always good to check it out. How are you going? Solid drive to Ingham. Only three hours to go. Yep. Left Bowen at what? Quarter to five? Yep. Getting there. Did you have a better night's sleep? Yes, I did. Yeah. Where did we start? The Bowen Holiday Park, I think it was. Yeah. Just a caravan park. It's $35 each for the night for a powered site. It's a bit of a difference to $20 in what was that? Maroon Vale. Way better though. Yeah. But yeah, a lot more expensive. It's like 50 bucks difference. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. Come on, sir. I'll go away. Alright puppies, the final stretch. Do it. Let's do it. <sighs> we did it, Shields. We made it back. Here's the old boat. Now in cans. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty warm. Pretty warm, eh? Yeah, sweat. Sweat. Oh, we're gonna chill out for a while. Chill out. And then sort some stuff out, hey? How are you? Nice and sweaty? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. No, it's good to be home. Hey, yeah. good to be home. <laughs> All right, um, we should talk price in moving. Mm -hmm. um, it's not very cheap to relocate the cans. Uh, we'll talk about fuel first. Six hundred and twenty dollars in the D Max, and the Jimny costs four hundred dollars. Four hundred, which is cheap. 
It is petrol. Unleaded was a little bit cheaper. Yeah. I think, what, it was a dollar ninety two dollars dollar ninety nine to two dollars? Yeah. Two ten. Um the diesel was two twenty to two thirty. Um, we did have to fill up a lot more in the chimney because the small tank thing is only 40 litres. Yeah. I think we filled up nine times. Really? Yeah. I didn't count. Nine. I think we did six in the D-Max. Um, so you're looking at what, $1,000 there just over? But we didn't need, we still had half a tank and then we had pretty much a full tank in the chimney yeah. too. So. We'll just say $1,000. <clears> the trailer, that was 1100 mm -hmm. for four days. That was including the like insurance stuff that we paid extra yeah. um, but we did get an extra day which we probably didn't need so yeah. probably Could seven eight hundred yeah, yeah. Um, but that was a thousand so that's two grand already and then of course you've got your four weeks bond two weeks rent um, obviously it's going to depend on how much rent you're paying mm. so what we're up around what three thousand or something yeah. So yeah, we're up around the five thousand dollar mark already, and that's not even including food, food like your grocery shop when you get here, and then your food on your trip as well. So yeah, and accommodation. And accommodation. Yeah, two days. Yeah, like we spent like camping. The second trip was ninety dollars. Mm -hmm. The first night we stayed in a little room and that was hundred and something. Hundred twenty, hundred thirty. Yeah. So it's not cheap to relocate to camps. No. <laughs> and we probably did it pretty cheap, I think, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. Like, we roughed it pretty much. 20 bucks the first night in the tent was awful. It was so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty much price. Five to five and a half, I'd say. Yeah. If you just yeah, need some rough numbers, we should talk about our experience on getting a rental too. That was hard. Yeah. <laughs> How many did we apply for? Probably. About 15, probably 15, 20. Yeah. Got rejected for all but one. Yeah, we got uh, sent through to the owners on a couple. Yeah. And then we got turned down just from getting someone else got chosen over us. So we um, were applying for five weeks before we got approved for one. It took yeah. us five weeks to get approved. Yeah. In our situation, we were going off one income. Because her work, she's working remote, so with the same company. I'm on long service, but then I won't have any work after that. Yeah. So they were just seeing one income, basically. So it's probably better if you can secure two jobs. Yeah. Um, we also have good rental history too, which I think worked in our favour. Yeah. But like we said, we still struggled. Mm -hmm. We pretty much gave up too, because we had to be out yeah, by did. October. Otherwise we had to wait until after Christmas. We pretty much gave up. We were, yeah, we were planning our plan B. Temporary. Which was moving to my dad's. And then we were just going to keep applying while living there. But then randomly. I know. Property manager called you and said, hey, you've been approved. Very lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. That's quite funny. We signed the papers and everything, and a few days later, we got approved for another one. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't get any, and then we got two. Um, so yeah, if you are trying and you're struggling, just be patient and just keep on applying. The application forms suck. Yeah. They're they all really different do. as well. Yeah. But once you get through one real estate, fill it all out, it just fills it in for you the next time going through the same real estate so yeah but they do suck yeah what we got there that was our experience yeah you happy yeah, yeah. No. i mean the traveling was rough yeah it took us 22 and a half hours the first trip i don't know how long it took the second we did it over three days the second trip yeah i think we did like six and a half hours eight hours six and a half but it was probably longer yeah with the dogs I had to stop for a old diarrhea girl here. <laughs> had the runs. <laughs> She's fine now. And fatty. He didn't mind it. Hey, hey, hey. But no, that's pretty much it. We're here. We made it. We made it. For at least the next 12 months. And it's hot. <laughs> it's pretty warm. It's not that bad yet. It is coming in the summer, so it's going to get rough. But. Yeah. Oh, well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it's a bit of insight. Yeah, into moving to Cairns if you're planning on it or planning on just doing a move. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No? Don't think so. No, our next video, who knows where that's going to be? Might be out on the water. Probably. Some good weather coming, so fingers crossed. But until then, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on too. 
and we'll catch you next time. See you later.